Hi, my name is Christina Govinda with DomesticFelicity.com and today we're going to talk about how to make a tutu bow holder. For this project you'll need tulle, your bodice fabric, some batting for the bodice, a cutout cardboard bodice, some yarn, and ribbon. You're also going to need a glue gun and scissors. I'm going to take care of the tulle first, so I've measured out the length of tulle that I want. I'm going to fold it in half so that the ends meet up. And then I'm going to take my yarn and tie a secure knot. And lastly, I'm going to clip the strings. Next, we're going to assemble our bodice. I'm going to do this by laying my fabric face down. For this project, I've chosen a vintage fabric and you want to pay attention to your pattern and make sure that you know where you want it to land on the bodice. So I want the majority of my flowers right there on the bodice. I cut out my bodice using extra cardboard from a box and I just traced along the outside and then cut it out. It doesn't matter if it's a little rough looking, that's okay. So now that I know where I want my bodice to lay on the fabric, I'm gonna take the batting and place it right on top of that as well. Smooth it out, take your cardboard, lay it down there and we're gonna trim off the extra. And be sure to leave plenty of room. I'm going to glue the batting on first. You take your glue gun, do a line of glue, then take your batting, you want to fold it over and press it down securely. I'm trimming off extra batting. When doing the curved spots, I'm going to take my scissors and clip a couple of slits so that it will fold over easily. Take your glue and fold over the batting. Now we're ready to glue down the fabric and we're going to do this exactly the same way that we did the batting. Make sure that you cut slits along the curves and also that you glue each side down at about the same time, pulling it tight. Now we're ready to glue on our tool. We're going to do this by taking the folded end of your tool and your glue gun. You're going to attach the tool, put a generous amount of glue there, the very end, and hold it until you think it's cooled. To make sure that they're spaced evenly, we're going to take our glue gun and put glue down at the other end, attaching our tool. Then we're going to take our last piece of tool and glue it down in the middle. Now that your glue is cooled, you want to go around each piece of tool and find places where it needs extra glue. We need three ribbons for straps to be able to clip your bows to. So we're going to start at the top of our tutu and go down to about where you want it to land. So about right there, I'm going to cut my ribbon. I'm going to use this to measure out my other two pieces. Before I attach the ribbons, I'm going to fold over the bottom and this creates a little loop to put headbands through. Put some glue there, press it down. I'm going to do this to one end of each ribbon. Now I'm going to glue my ribbons down. To finish off the skirt, we're going to use the same ribbon to make a waistband. We're going to cut it a little longer than a, the waist. Now I'm going to place a generous amount of glue all along the waist of the skirt. And then take my first ribbon and lay it across here. Be sure to press the ribbon down. Next, I'm going to do the same thing to the second ribbon, just making sure that it goes slightly above the first one. I'm 
Once that's finished, I'm going to flip my bow holder over, taking both of the ribbons, I'm going to secure them at the back of the bodice. Flipping it over, I'm going to finish my project by taking another length of ribbon and attaching it on the back side. So I need to figure out how long I want it. About right there. Clip your ribbon. Turn your project back over. Now making sure your ribbon is straight and attach both sides. Make sure you use a generous amount of glue to secure the ribbon. Now your tutu bow holder is finished. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Christina and today we talked about how to make a tutu bow holder.